Right now, looking for ways around a lockdown. With the Flagler Bridge shut down, the scramble's on to help commuters get around the additional backups and detours. News Channel 5's Evan Axelbank is live in West Palm Beach with how the city is trying to help. Evan? And Kelly, Mayor Moyo acknowledging that this is a very frustrating scene here right at the base of the Flagler Bridge at the intersection of Olive and Quadril. These roads close signs went up just here on Tuesday as more mechanical problems continue to plague the bridge. The mayor says this is particularly concerning as season gets ramped up and more people come down for winter. Here's what the mayor is proposing to help here. The mayor says that the city is adding an additional trolley stop at the intersection of Detura and Olive. She's also encouraging people to use tri-rail as much as possible. The city is adding bike racks downtown to encourage bicycle use. And the city is even encouraging employers to be flexible in the morning for the beginning of the workday based on when employees are able to get here because the state is making repairs now and the bridge is scheduled to reopen a week from Monday. Thanksgiving's coming, the holidays are coming. We want that bridge open for the holidays. We want that bridge open so that uh, people can enjoy going back and forth between Palm Beach and West Palm Beach and so that um, folks don't get frustrated with traffic. The city still expecting delays of 30 minutes or more for people who are trying to get over to the over uh, from Palm Beach Island at the beginning of the workday. State officials say that the bridge settled more than an inch since it was reopened just a few weeks ago, and that's why the city had to uh, and the state had to uh, close the bridge once again. Obviously, a very frustrating situation. And the bad news for everybody in all this is that a new bridge can't be reopened or a new bridge can't be built and opened until at least. 2016. We're live in West Palm Beach tonight. Evan Axelbank, WPTV News Channel 5.